Alright, so now it's all hooked up. Here's inside the load shedding relay that you have to have. This load shedding module does not do it by itself. It only does the heat and air low voltage by itself. So it can work two AC units to shed the load. Otherwise you add these on. So you got this one. They're all 50 amp. You could use them for a 240 circuit or you could use them for two single pole circuits. You got line on top, load on the bottom and 120 volts to your coil on the back. Now these relays are normally open so until there's power sent on that coil the power is going in and going out like it normally does. Now in the event but there is a power outage. If the generator isn't doing too good, this CT here on the generator feed, the generator feed loops through each side of the CT. If that detects the low, lower voltage, starting with one, two, and three, it'll send power. You just get power off your control circuit. You jump from spot one, three, five, and seven. And that gets power to the load module. And there's no power going out to the relay. Unless during the power outage the generator wasn't doing good, it'll start with number one. Just open up that relay. And then spot number two. I just jump it. I'm just jumping that relay. And then load number C, the third one, it'll do this in order. And that's how that goes. Now the low voltage wiring from the generator, you got four wires. You just got common power A and B. And it's uh the communication wires A and B and the common and power it's just low voltage so that's a separate half inch conduit with 18 to 20 gauge wire going to the generator and in the generator you'll see common power A and B so that's all the control wiring from here to the generator and this whole load module plugs into this board over here if you weren't using the load control module your A, B, power and common would go into those spots That's about it. Not too bad.